Arirang Special. Around the world, humanity is facing the consequences of its exploration of nature over the years. The carbon dioxide that's produced when we burn these fuels is upsetting the climate and warming the ocean in such a way that we may have major climate damage from violent storms, droughts, floods, and the rise of the oceans. It's been 20 years since we started responding to climate change. Climate change is the great challenge of the 21st century, and we must rise to the challenge. In 2015, the international community well, is about to adopt a new stance on climate change. So after Paris, the focus really will be on implementing those plans, on actually doing something about climate change. From individuals to corporations, from households to entire cities, Let's find out how Korea is taking real measures to combat climate change. This is an apartment located in Songdo International City within the Incheon Free Economic Zone. A housewife is sorting food waste after dinner. She separates the food waste and carries the trash bag to the hallway. There are two small openings in the wall next to the hallway. She puts the trash bag in the food waste slots. In ordinary Korean homes, people buy different trash bags for different kinds of waste and throw them away in designated areas. This apartment complex has a special automatic collection system. The waste that goes inside the openings are sent to underground pipes where they are vacuumed into the respective collection points. 여기는 그 지하 시설로요. 다른 구 도심과는 틀리 그 쓰레기 이송 갈로가 땅 속에 저기 500ml 간으로 연결이 돼 여기까지 연결이 돼 있어서요. 그 쓰레기를 이송하게 되면 그 쓰레기가 그 이곳 그 컨테이너 박스 안에까지 자동으로 이송되어서 압축된 다음에 이 컨테이너 박스는 소각 시설로 보내지게 됩니다. 소각 시설에서는 이것을 불을 태워서 Thanks to the system, there are no garbage trucks that go around collecting household waste in this neighborhood. It is convenient, hygienic, and eco-friendly. There are seven waste collection points and 55.6 kilometers of underground transportation pipes in Songdo. The waste thus collected is used to generate renewable energy such as biogas. This helps cut down 550 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. Songdo International City is a new city built on reclaimed land in 2005. It is touted as a next generation smart city with IT integrated into all city services. Its international business district is home to international organizations as the World Bank and Green Climate Fund, as well as multinational corporations. What's most remarkable is that the city has been designed from the earliest stage of planning to be environmentally friendly. The environment was a key focus for the developer that designed Songdo International City. Environmental sustainability was a key focus for Gale International and POSCO ENC as we were beginning the master planning of this city 15 years ago and as we've completed through the project's development and construction today. Mixed uses, that is combining office space, retail space, residential space, all basically within a 30 minute walking distance of one another with the concept being you want to encourage people to walk or ride their bikes. We're Right now in our Central Park, which we like to think of as being the heart and lungs of Songdo IBD, and it provides for a much more pleasant experience for people who need to traverse the city, again, going to their various daily functions. The Central Park is a green focal point in the center of the city that not just creates a beautiful environment for residents, but also helps dissipate the heat generated by the city. Routes between business districts, residential areas, 
educational facilities, and other amenities have been designed for maximum efficiency, helping reduce carbon emissions. Although the cityscape is a jungle of high-rises, there are no cars parked on the ground. Uh, the heat island effect in the summertime is reduced because you don't have cars sitting out on asphalt just absorbing and then radiating up all that solar radiation coming in during the heat of the summertime. In the wintertime, the converse occurs in that you don't have to spend time idling your car to warm it up to clear the ice and snow from your windows before you can start driving. So it's much more efficient in terms of reducing greenhouse gases. According to the U.S. Energy Information Agency, about 50% of carbon emissions within the U.S. come from buildings. In other words, maximizing the energy efficiency of buildings is an effective strategy for emissions reduction. The buildings in the NEAT zone, located in central Hongo, are built for just that. They have been LEED, or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design certified under the Building Rating System of the U.S. Green Building Council. LEED certification is the most authoritative environmental certification in the world for buildings. 저희가 리드 인증을 추진하기 위해서는 미국 냉동 공조 공학회 에슈레라고 하는 곳에서 표준으로 제시하고 있는 지표 대비 약 10% 이상의 에너지 절감을 달성해야만 리드 인증을 취득을 할 수가 있습니다. There are many ways to cut down the energy consumption of buildings. High performance materials have been used for the outer walls and windows, while air conditioning and lighting systems have been designed for maximum efficiency. 동부가 트레이드 타워 같은 경우는 초고층 건물 중에 최초로 리드 인증을 획득을 한 건물이라는 의미가 있고요. 어, 쉐라톤 호텔 같은 경우는 국내 특급 호텔 중에 최초의 리드 인증 사례가 되겠습니다. 그리고 제가 지금 서 있는 컨벤시아 같은 경우는 아시아 최초로 인증을 받은 컨벤션 센터가 되겠습니다. People who work in Songdo can cycle to and from work thanks to these facilities. Currently, 63% of completed buildings in Songdo International Business District have been LEED certified. The plan is to have the entire district certified as a green zone in the future. 저희 송도 국제 업무 단지의 리드 앤디 추진은 많은 의미가 있습니다. 현재 국내에서는 최초의 리드 앤디 인증 프로젝트이고요. 규모 면에서 현재 세계적으로 많은 관심과 이목이 집중되어 있는 프로젝트입니다. USGBC에서도 리드 앤디 시범 프로젝트로 선정한 바가 있습니다. 향후 친환경 도시 개발에 있어서 송도 국제 업무 단지 전체가 인증을 획득하게 될 경우 저희가 어 새로운 기준이 되고 또 모범 사례가 될 것으로 예상을 하고 있습니다. Songdo has been getting attention from around the world as an experiment to plan, build and operate an eco-friendly city. This is because making cities sustainable through energy conversion is a hot topic in the international discourse on environment. Korea has taken a leadership role in many aspects, cultural, economically, politically, and my hope and my, and my belief is that Songdo IBD can serve as another example of Korea taking a leadership role in urban development, eco-friendly urban development. It's very important that we, begin this to, that we begin to build the cities of the future, that we begin to build cities that are more energy efficient, that have modern transport systems, that recycle water where possible, uh, that have a good strategy on, on waste. We're already beginning to see that the sustainable cities around the world are more attractive places for the business community to invest. So by building green cities, by making sure that urban environments are more sustainable, more eco-friendly, I think it really is uh, an opportunity to position cities for the future. Two thousand fifteen is a meaningful year in the international response to climate change. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change was established in nineteen ninety four as the international community began focusing on climate change. Its specific terms were set in the Kyoto Protocol. 
Now, a new climate change regime will be adopted for the first time in 18 years at the Conference of Parties to be held in December in the city of Paris. Kyoto Accords에서는 선진국의 역사적 책임을 물어서 선진국 중심으로 온실가스를 줄이도록 이렇게 되어 있는 반면에 이번에 INDC라고 해서 자발적으로 선진국과 개도국이 2020년 이후에 온실가스를 어떻게 줄여 갈 것인가 하는 거에 대해서 논의를 하는 거기 때문에 선진국과 개도국이 모두가 참여하되 모두가 똑같이 한다기보다도 스스로가 할수 있는 만큼 자발적으로 한다라는 것이 굉장히 큰 차이점입니다. Korea did not have a quota for emissions reduction under the Kyoto Protocol. Nonetheless, in 2009, it announced reduction targets to be met by 2020, volunteering initiative in climate change response. 우리나라 같은 경우에는 사실 이제 1950년도 이후, 1900, 특히 1960년대 이후에 이제 산업화가 진행이 됐기 때문에 어, 지금까지 배출한 양 자체는 전 세계의 어느 나라보다 그렇게 큰 양은 아니거든요. 근데 그에 비해서는 우리나라가 지금 훨씬 더 감축에 대한 노력이 어, 강화된 측면이 있고요. 그리고 그걸 되돌아본다면은 아마 어, 좀 이제 감축 노력에 대해서는 우리나라가 약간 리더에 있는 그러한 국가적 위치를 가지고 있지 않을까 그렇게 생각을 합니다. Uh, Korea has been very active in, in seeking to make the economy greener for a number of years. Korea's economy is very exposed in terms of uh, energy security, energy prices, the need to import raw materials. So there is an awareness in Korea that the issue needs to be addressed. There is an awareness that the Korean economy needs to become more modern, more innovative, focus on the technologies of, uh, of the future. As a result of such efforts, Korea is now the host nation of the international organizations Green Climate Fund and Global Green Growth Institute that work to combat climate change. Green Climate Fund was formed by 37 nations participating to create a fund of $10.2 billion. It took nest in Songdo in 2013. The Global Green Growth Institute is an international organization established under the Korean Initiative in 2010, which works to support green growth in developing countries. The Global Green Growth Institute was created to help developing countries, to work with developing countries and emerging economies to find a greener model of economic growth. And what that means is um, growing the economy in a strong way, but at the same time doing less harm to the environment uh, and creating more green jobs for people. So at the moment we work with 24 countries on energy, on green cities, on land use and on water. Some see a possible negative impact on the Korean economy from the international response to climate change. However, there are more optimistic views who see climate change as a new opportunity rather than a threat. They argue that climate change response should be seen by companies as investment for future businesses rather than an additional burden. 온실가스를 줄인다고 하는 부분은 경제 성장에 있어서 부정적인 요인으로 작용할 수 있습니다. 그런데 그것은 단기적인 측면에서 부정적인 요인으로 볼수 있는 거고 장기적으로 보면은 산업 구조가 에너지를 적게 쓰면서 고부가 가치를 생산할 수 있는 산업 구조로 변해야 되기 때문에 장기적인 측면에서 온실가스에 대응하는 어떤 기술을 개발하고 산업 구조를 재편하고 하는 것은 굉장히 필요한 거고 그러한 것이 결국에는 우리의 미래에 대해서 또 다른 발전을 가져올 수 있는 어떤 어, 출발점이 되지 않을까 싶네요. This is why Korean companies have been responding fast to new climate requirements. Mr. Song Jung Hyun works at KT, one of the largest telecommunications companies in Korea. A conference is being held in the Pundang office where he works. A short while later, he is joined by five to six other participants via video conference. Video conferencing allows people to work together simultaneously even though they are physically apart. On top of conserving energy, it also helps save time. 가장 큰 효과는 신속성이라고 생각을 합니다. 저희 회사 같은 경우에는 전국 각지에 지사가 퍼져 있기 때문에 그분들이 모두 한 곳으로 모여서 회의를 할 경우에는 
그 비용이나 출장 시간 측면에 있어서 낭비가 굉장히 큽니다. 저희 회사에서는 작년에 2만 2천 건, 올해는 2만 1천 건 정도 화상회의를 지금까지 진행하고 있고요. 이를 통해서 매년 65억 정도의 비용 절감 효과를 올리고 있습니다. KT has a committee for environmental management. The company has a policy where carbon emissions generated by business traveling are calculated and offset by video conferences. Efforts to reduce emissions does not stop at video conferencing. The company has replaced its wireless communications equipment with high-efficiency devices, reducing annual electricity consumption by 41%. It also minimizes energy used in air conditioning via numerous sensors installed in the communications equipment room that monitor temperatures in real time. 통신실에는 통신 장비가 밀집되어 많은 열기가 발생하고 있는데 통신실의 온도 관리를 위해 기존에는 냉미를 이용하는 일반적인 냉방기를 사용하였으나 현재는 일반적인 냉방기와 달리 냉각수를 순환시켜 냉각하는 친환경 쿨링 시스템을 이용하여 연간 35만 킬로와트 아워의 전력량을 절감하여 기존의 냉방기에 비해 42%의 전력량을 절감하는 효과가 있었습니다. The environmental efforts of corporations fall into two broad categories, reducing energy consumption with enhanced efficiency and creating new sources of energy. Over the past 40 years, the world has seen oil shocks and environmental crises. This led to the pursuit of renewable energy sources such as solar power, hydropower, and wind power that can replace fossil fuels. Total global demand for energy amounts to 15 terawatts a year. Meanwhile, the sun radiates a whopping 86,000 terawatts of energy per year onto the Earth. This is why solar power is a renewable energy with huge potential. However, renewable energy is still not widely used around the world. Why is this? But the new kinds of generation, the, the, what I call the fire-free kinds, the renewables like wind and solar, we can actually generate very close to where we want to use them. And we can use the wires in a way which now involves using, for example, computers and software in such a way that we have much more flexible, much more versatile control over the electricity. Electricity is a wonderful process but we have never really taken advantage of its full potential. We're now beginning to do so. The key is to store the energy generated from sunlight or wind. This is why companies around the world are working to develop energy storage systems, or ESS. ESS is also a key business area for Samsung SDI, one of Korea's leading IT companies. 어, 신재생 에너지가 이렇게 확산되고 있지만 어, 그 확산을 어, 막는 큰두 가지 어, 단점이 있습니다. 그 하나는 신재생 에너지가 그 생성되는 시점이 불규칙하다는 것과 또 생산과 동시에 소비가 돼야 된다는 큰 단점이 있습니다. 이런 두 가지 단점을 크게 개선할 수 있는 기술이 바로 에너지 스토리지 기술이라고 할수 있습니다. The main problem in renewable energy sources such as sunlight or wind is that supply and quality can fluctuate greatly depending on weather conditions. When ESS batteries that can store solar energy are installed, they can supply the stored energy during nighttime when the sun is down or in cloudy weather. Moreover, energy currently discarded in the transfer grid can also be stored for later use. 올해 상반기만 해도 약 20% 이상이 버려지고 있습니다. 만약 ESS를 사, 사용하면 이 버려진 20%의 에너지를 저장했다가 필요한 시간에 꺼내 쓸수 있는 효과를 가져올 수 있습니다. 뿐만 아니라 어, 이렇게 어, 에너지를 딜리버리하기 위해서 필요한 송전망 인프라에 대한 투자도 회피할 수 있는 효과를 가져올 수 있습니다. Samsung SDI has been working on lithium battery technologies for the past decade. This is because they see the energy storage system as the key to the implementation of smart grids and renewable energy.
This is how the company has been maintaining top global market share in portable lithium batteries since 2010. According to U.S. market research firm Navigant Research, the global ESS market will grow from $13 billion in 2013 to $50.5 billion in 2020, more than tripling in size. ESS is a key future industry in which Korean companies, including Samsung SDI, have the global lead. As we move forward, I think we are going to see that energy use is going to become much more decentralized. It is going to become much closer to the people and much less remote. People are going to be much more aware not only of how they use electricity and other forms of energy, but they are also going to be much more aware of where it comes from so that they actually are thinking to make the best possible use of it, to not to waste it, and to take advantage of the new forms of energy that we now know how to produce. It takes real work and action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Small but meaningful efforts are becoming part and parcel of daily life in Korea. Using public transport instead of cars that generate carbon emissions, buying eco-friendly products, and saving electricity, water, and gas in the home. All of these are actions that can earn you points in the green card, rapidly gaining popularity in Korea. The green card is an eco-friendly program bringing together efforts from the government, finance companies, and ordinary citizens. Green card is that the people in the life of the world are able to think about how to think about it. It is a card for the environment, the environment, and this is a store that sells eco-friendly products located in a large supermarket. Most customers use the green card when making purchases here. 처음에는 환경을 생각해서 발급받고 이제 이용을 했는데요. 이게 사용을 하다 보니까 타 카드보다 포인트 적립액이 되게 높은 거예요. 그래서 어, 계속 이용을 하고 있었고 그리고 사용하다 보니까 정부에서 제공하고 있는 다양한 서비스도 이제 이용할 수 있더라고요. 그래서 지금도 계속 잘 사용하고 있는 중입니다. Although eco-friendly products are more expensive than ordinary counterparts, the number of customers are growing. 2015년 소비자 설문 조사 결과 10명 중 8명은 친환경 제품에 대한 관심이 증가하였으며 응답자의 88% 이상은 만족한다고 답변하였습니다. 앞으로 기술원에서는 매장에서 판매되는 친환경 제품을 지속적으로 확대할 예정입니다. The points thus accumulated can be used like cash in the Green Card Mobile Shopping Mall. As of 2015, 10 million green cards have been issued in Korea. This amounts to one out of every five people and more than 40% of people with economic power using the green card. Although it is a small effort for individuals, the accumulated impact is eye-popping. 2014년 기준으로 그린 카드 사용에 따라 105만 톤의 온실가스를 감축하였으며, 이는 30년생 소나무 1억 6천만 그루를 심는 효과와 동일합니다. More importantly, the implementation of green cards has led to a rise in the willingness to adopt low-carbon and eco-friendly lifestyles. The green card created an easy way for people to take action for the environment in their daily lives. This was recognized with the awarding of the championship at the Green World Awards by the Green Organization, a UK-based NGO. The fascinating and encouraging thing about the kind of policy that Korea is developing is that the people themselves are involved in the decisions. They are actually deciding how to do it and what to do. And they have control. They have a much more active role. Climate change is a crisis for humanity. To turn this crisis into an opportunity, 
the international community will embark on a new promise. The essence of the promise is the voluntary participation of all nations and cities. In the center of it all are the actions of each and every individual. I believe it's very important to offer people choices. So offer people the choice to buy green energy, offer people the choice to use green transport systems, offer people the opportunity to buy electric vehicles, uh, to really make sure that the choices are uh, available to citizens to, to make. So I would encourage people, including the Korean people, to make green choices, to make the right choices, and to make the choices that will prepare us all in a better way for the future. The voluntary environmentalism that is becoming a part of daily lives in Korea is leading to the participation of its corporations and the nation's initiative in the international community.